especially the things that are considered to be harmful. Well, the things that are harmful, but then they are ple pleasurable on the other hand. And it should be any addiction. Just think of anything that you use or that you do compulsively that is going to make you feel better, but then it has negative consequences. And you can look at it in simple terms. Anything that you use or do, which is going to make you feel something or which is going to make you stop feeling something. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the show, Deen and Dunya. My name is Rahma Mustafa Ghani, and this is a show where we talk about different issues that we see in our society, in our community. And these things, most people don't find it comfortable to talk about them. So, inshallah, we'll look at these things and find solutions to them. And today we have for you an interesting topic, which is harmful pleasures. And I have with me in the studio my co-host, my people. I have Habiba Abdullahi. Assalamu alaikum. And then I have Abdul Rashid Abdul Fatah. Wa alaikum salam Okay, so we said anything that is harmful mm -hmm. but then pleasurable can be the things that we don't even imagine is to harmful. Be, yes, harmful. So, for example, I think things like social media also can be harmful. Mm -hmm. So, I was talking to some kids the other day and I was like, um, nobody is saying you shouldn't use social media, but then mm -hmm. how do you regulate it? How do you use it? There are people that are addicted to social media or their phones mm. to an extent where when they wake up first thing in the morning what they do is they reach out to their phones to see the imaginary people online mm. that will show some love to them and i was like even before praising allah thanking him for the life mm, for waking up that is, yeah he has returned your life mm. before saying alhamdulillah he mm. you know and one thing you have to understand is when a person goes to sleep, it is as though you are dead. Because mm. Allah mentions in the Quran, Allah mm. So if you're sleeping, your soul leaves your body. So if your time is up, it doesn't come back. When you still have some days to live or years, then it comes, it comes so back. How would you just try to look at imaginary people that maybe you don't even know from anywhere? instead of praising your lord when you wake up from i think it's sleep. where people's priorities lie some for some people the things that they see as important mm -hmm. are maybe their judgment is clouded by those things i mean because you keep you find out that you keep on doing or having these things that you you know that you okay it gives you some sort of enjoyment some mm -hmm. so, some form of pleasure or whatever but in the long run or even on in a short term it is you you see the damages you see the, the the effects of that thing like for example i was i was talking to someone the other time and he said to me that he cannot he cannot watch a because he, he watches a lot of movies he cannot watch a series and like a season movie mm -hmm. over a long period of time like he prefers to like sit at once and watch the whole without thing from beginning to end thing. without doing any other thing and i'm like okay and he, and he always complains that he gets headaches after i'm like okay um hello why are you still what is what is what's the big deal like you need to mm. be coming down sometimes now but it just it just goes to show that we 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 don't really look at the effects of these things and it keeps on going and going and going it's like a negative feedback loop mm. it the the effect it's also part of the cause and it keeps on repeating sometimes, going over and itself sometimes let's not forget that it's mm. also it's just the particular notion that um um islam has a way of putting you under subjugation that you're mm. not allowed to live life you understand that the people think islam does not permit uh, and pleasure and desire and enjoy but I, w I want i want people i want uh, people out there you to know mm. that uh, desire and pleasure is not there's a verse in the quran that talks about that in quran 5 um chapter 4 he no. said is islam against desire and pleasure they ask what is permitted to them say all mm. good things are mm. permitted, permitted to us mm. so in the case in that case it shows you that islam does not stop you from mm. having a social life mm. you can coexist but what we're saying is mm. there is morality there's the guide there has to there's be, something has to bigger be than you something that yes. puts you in check that um um islam shows you a part of life that you mm. could follow without 
breaking rules. We're not like trying to stri- Yes, yeah, not your no, 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 no. Okay. Trying to try to balance between your, your Western life and your real <laughs> is that is very detrimental because mm. people find uh, find um, that. Uh, Oftentimes, especially us youths, I think they find if you're in, if you restrict yourself from from those uh, kind of pleasures, that means you're not really living life. Nah, like they tell you but that we know you're, that you're, pleasure you're doling. Is, and desire is essential to man's being. You understand? But mm. it's but very important. Don't you think that um, you can have this handful of pleasures from friendships, mm. relationships? Toxic partners. Yep. You'll mm. see that um, these people are actually toxic and mm. they're not. Uh, making any positive impact in your life yeah. but then because of the pleasure of the attention the and the attention, love that they give the love to you, you get from you're there. still there you know that that's uh, a lot of people around us tend to impact on our decision or life choices so that's why you see sometimes they tell us let's choose our friends wisely mm. even though in so many cases it does not it doesn't really go that down, way. but what the popular nation is tell me your friends and i'll tell you you are for us, in most cases, it's not like it's that. Not like that. In fact, because no. all fingers are not equal. If no. you think you're going no. to enter trouble, you 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 and you go and dance. There was something I saw. The other person will dance and do. It will be a different story. There was something, something I saw recently, and someone was like, um, "It's no, it's no longer show me your friend, and I'll tell you who you are." Because me and my friend are not the same. I'm just I don't different judge. people have different so, personalities. Mm-hmm. You know? And then that issue of um, toxic um, friends or toxic partners. Mm-hmm. I think people mistake it a lot for okay. compassion, if we, they, they, especially especially in the aspect of relationship, um, marriage relationships. People are like, for the sake of I love you, I will, I will just you know shut down and allow you to be doing your own. But sometimes you really need to understand when things are harmful to you. People refuse to listen to themselves. They yeah. don't really. It's like you're living life every day but you're not living you're not inside your body you are outside your body you are you your attention it. isn't for is, is focused mm. on every other thing apart from yourself you and so it, exactly you live in a fantasy i tell people that look you need to be coming down and the just look at yourself to belong, exactly to be part of the I social think, strata you know? i think habits mm-hmm. habits too can be harmful mm. yeah example the, is let's say you have a habit of mm. maybe taking too much cold things and <laughs> it'll be like you're going to catch pneumonia or a disease and there's this thing a lot of people it's pleasurable these days to you mm. or maybe um you take too mm. much sugar and they will so tell you yes. diabetes is it, there I'm a to sugar. <laughs> exactly so habits too Same i think yeah. can be harmful <laughs> pleasures as well and there's this aspect of also drinking tea nowadays <laughs> yeah i don't think that a lot of people will tell you that they're addicted to tea like most even meetings my it's like tea tea and it's not like tea tea is so harmful but if it gets up to a point where you can't do without tea, like your day isn't complete if you don't take coffee or if you don't take tea especially caffeine caffeine is really addictive oh. to some people mm. you need to like you know people should really notice these you things know, my and problem about dial this down life is today's society mm. nowadays is, is the pressure that we put in our head that exactly. never lets us the pressure it makes us do unspeakable things because sometimes if you Put the press, so much pressure mm. on yourself that you want to belong or you want to have what A has and mm. what B does not have. Whereas we know that all fingers are not equal. Mm-hmm. Even from the beginning of creation, God never made us equal. They try to compare their so lives to others. So that pressure you put in yourself makes you want to find loopholes in life, you know, or shorter cut or something. Before you know, you find yourself doing things that is in completely opposite, opposite. to your faith or to your to 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 even to, to your to beliefs your and morals and beliefs, your you understand but look for example if you're under pressure at work because you want to really make mm. it out there of course and yes you should struggle to, to to search for dunya like you're not living it mm. and also uh, search for akira like it's just the next it's day you understand mm. but that pressure makes us go into different kind of habits people that go into drug you know mm. so people that go into um uh, God forsaken marriage is all in the name that they want to fit in or if it's anything that are happening. You go and marry for the wrong reasons and then mm. you find up yourself in, in a toxic relationship or you, you keep on suffering to, or you want to day. go to school that you cannot afford. <laughs> or you want to be a friend. doctor that your brain cannot carry <laughs> because A is a lawyer or everybody is becoming a doctor. I know some parents cause that thing. Yes. They because put pressure before you know you start doing drugs or finding yourself in the right kind of company or you want to study something in school but mm. your parents do not want it so you go and start hanging out with mm. the wrong set of crowd but now for example if mm. you see somebody maybe smoking weed or mm. putting a substance into their body the first thing that will come to your mind is 
this person might not be useful to the society mm -hmm. or they might not be able to have a career or go to school or have a family. Mm -hmm. But I think the most important thing to notice is even if this person now becomes clean later mm -hmm. on, the stigma that comes with it's that so stays with them yeah. throughout their yeah, lives. Their image has already been stained exactly. by and that's, people. There, there's this person called Tony Huffman. He was saying when he was seeing people around him trying mm. all the sweet and all that, he was curious and he was like, I just want to try this thing just That's once, just problem. once. And that became an addiction for him. He took it just once. He was like, if somebody now told him before taking it that, see, for years to come or throughout your life, you're going to suffer from this stigma, he said he wouldn't have done that. Mm. But even when he was exonerated, mm. you know, after his arrest, and then he started that. dating somebody and her father now said, what are you doing with this man? Expressing Don't you know that he has a criminal record and all that? So he was like, this stigma would never leave him. So sometimes these people just need somebody that would just caution them and say, them. Don't do this. So, but you will see that everybody know. is just about himself and that, that's life. one thing every this nowadays everyone is just people don't really care anymore everyone to is just air. for and me and myself we forget that to err is human and to forgive is divine mm -hmm. obviously you even god that we worship make we make mistake and we come back but we're, we're we're not saying that you should always hide under the nation and like of, food over mm. you no you are supposed to be accountable for your actions, actions. You know? we might think we're in control of our own destiny mm. but ultimately yes we are in the hands of god but at the same time we need to caution ourselves we need to be accountable for certain actions mm. we know that even logically things that are detrimental to your health you shouldn't mm. go into it talk more of when you come deep down to the religious aspect if absolutely. you look at it closely the quran or uh, it just all the things that it wants us to stray away from mm. Mm. is actually things that are going to be really harmful they're going to leave a harmful implant or imprint in our lives or in our values or or how we coexist or even to our health mm. you understand mm. but we find we we just think we find pleasure in doing the things that would also more causes us more damage so what's the point of you after smoking, finish smoking your lungs out, you, you now have lung cancer and then you are done. But what, what, yeah. what does your, your life you expect to people to feel pity? And the problem is that these things can because come you from your, from your own predicament. It, sometimes it comes from peer pressure, and not really, you won't even call it peer pressure, it just comes from pressure around people from people around you. Some people can, there are some things that you don't really see value in like what why would they do it but because of that um i want to feel among i want to belong mm. some people will even tell you um your people will say uh oh dear jassy like mm. you don't you're not you're not up to date now you're not vibing okay <laughs> so it will now be like okay for because you you don't want to feel left out mm. it now makes a lot of people to go into a lot of things mm. like so, some people that are they don't even let me say partying but because of the fact that all their friends are mm, partying yeah. so they always among. want to mm. want to feel among and then at, at a point it now becomes something that they can't stop when you look at these things and um, sometimes it might not even be as um as um extreme as this um smoking or drugs mm. and stuff as little as like, as your phone let me just say let me just say your a person's phone like some some people will tell you I, you know people always want to dress but i spoke to some people someone was like no his phone is his is his pa mm. his assistant oh, and okay. pa is always with him i'm like okay your pa is also waiting with you when when you wake up you, your pa is waiting at your back and call so these little things uh, we need to like you know, try to it, it states, look it, at it, it has how a it printing is. impact in our lives you understand mm. but the little little things we think does not amount to something mm. is actually mm. something because it becomes a completely way of life and then you realize that you're not even living you're living for certain kind of people mm. we just just to come sit down and just fit in you understand where you're constantly into the bravado of life that it says okay you have to feel you have to you have to represent yes, most of the times when you now realize it's not like the time has just passed by like the they, time has just gone and like, you've amounted you, to uh, nothing and uh, that's dangerous. true and that's why we're asking the question what mm. are the things that you consider harmful but pleasurable debbie was is still the show dean and dunia we'll now take a short break and we'll be back stay tuned yeah.